Hi guys, it's Sunday today and today we're gonna take it a little slow. Last week, I added some home stuff to my online store from this female artist in Portland. Her store is called Shop of Things. Today, I'm going to weigh and package all of the orders made last week so I can ship them tomorrow. Here, I have my computer to cross-reference my inventory as I go through the orders. I have my uh, packaging materials here and the products are also here on the floor right now so they're safe. the most important part of this operation my weighing scale okay now i have everything i need my workstation is prepped while i do this we're going to catch up and have a real conversation because by the time that i upload this video it's gonna be a few days after i turn 31. you know what's been tripping me out lately i was 29 when the pandemic started i'm turning 31 in a few days I like missed a whole year. I can't. I never imagined being in my 30s. Ironically, in my 20s, I was so good at living in the moment. Yeah, I also had those unbiased timelines where I'm like, by the time I'm 25, I'm gonna be married. By the time I'm 30, I'm gonna have kids. And then I eventually turned 25 and I was still not married. And I just kept pushing those self-imposed timelines like a few years but then eventually i realized that life is just a series of present moments there is no magic number or event that will make you realize that you really are an adult now when i turned 29 i was like eh, just another year going by but when i turned 30 i turned 30 in the thick of the pandemic April 1st, 2020, I was living in Koreatown, Los Angeles. It was pre-rise of the BLM rallies and post-toilet paper drop. Much like being 30, I had no expectations for the pandemic. They told us we were going on lockdown for two weeks and it's been more than a year and we're barely just lifting citywide restrictions. It feels like the longest and the shortest year of my life. It taught me to be self-reliant in finding or sourcing love in my life. you 
but I personally don't understand the concept of the new normal. Because what the pandemic really did was strip off all of that shiny surface and expose how we've all been so complacent this whole time. I don't want that to be my normal. I don't want to be dubious about a worldwide pandemic and make fun of people for being respectful like wearing a mask or getting vaccinated. I don't want my normal to be racist and hateful towards people of color or accept that injustice is something that's systemic and that's okay. Like, I don't want that to be my normal. It hurts black and brown communities. I don't want my normal to be eating food that I dropped off the floor because it was only five seconds. I know, it's gross. I have so much gray hair now. Look. I don't know if you can see it. When they say gray hairs are trophies, I kind of see where that's coming from. Like, I kind of get it. They seem to rapidly come up when I'm stressed. If you can debunk that myth, let me know. Because I used to think it was just a Filipino thing. Right? But I've also heard the same thing from my brown friends. So I don't, I, I don't think it's a cultural thing. I'm writing on my card. I made these little thank you cards. My um, cousin designed it and it says, Own your story. And it's like all 80s, but still islandy. Because, you know, I'm all about that paper wave. feeling like my social media was an extension of my real friends and families. That was really toxic. After working in digital marketing for almost a decade, this whole concept of social internet drained me. It was frustrating. My blog was the reason why I got my first job in marketing. Because of that, I feel like the internet will always be a place for me to showcase my creativity so I can keep improving as a digital marketer. I opened my online store in 2017 on my then blog called Eric.online. Then it birthed my brand Gara. Gara evolved with me as I went through my journey of self-discovery and grew into who I am now. More than my vlogs or my social media accounts, my business is so dear to me because it reflects my personal journey. Even when I didn't know how, I always knew that I wanted to be involved in something that opens up opportunities for women and people of color. As I kept developing Gara, that idea became so much more tangible and of reach. all my packages it took me a while to come to terms with the reality that the world is really changing in real time that there really is no magic date that we can anticipate to signify that the future is coming the future is here it's happening right now maybe that's the thing about being in your 30s i don't think it's a physical or even like a chemical change you're stripped of all the bullshit and you start thinking and seeing inwards. You realize that this is the youngest you'll ever be. So you finally just wake up and start living your life the way that you've always wanted to. If any of this resonated with you, leave a comment below, like, subscribe. Let's talk. I would love to foster this community. See you next week.